New at 6, illegal dumping is creating problems in New London. Just one of the issues the city's blight officer is looking to tackle heading into the new year. News 8's Tina Detail shows us what's been happening. It's been more than a year since the Salvation Army thrift store has been closed. Yet, as you can see, people continue to bring their old items here out back. A good portion of these things were not here last week. Kenyon Hay is New London's blight enforcement officer. He can issue citations and fines, but he'd rather work with property owners willing to cooperate, like the Salvation Army, which still owns this now vacant building. I'll call Salvation Army. They'll send someone down to pick it up, and when they do, Someone else comes by and dumps some more stuff here. This is, this is all new and this is frustrating as well. Coastal Digestive, also on Bank Street, is in need of repairs. I sent letters and I'm trying to track down who the owners are. In this blight fight, Hay is working with members of the city center district, like the Hygienic, which installed the final glass panel today on the amphitheater covering its art park. These ones collect water to water the trees um, to the ground. A sustainable modern design, which many hope will add to the revitalization of this downtown area. The important thing is a year ago, there's a new blight ordinance with teeth, so to speak. And with that, things are actually getting done now. A tattered awning on this storefront has been removed. Tony Silvestri is a downtown developer and believes blight is bad for business. Let's face it, you know, the first appearance of any town, I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. The blight enforcement officer says people can bring items to the transfer station over on Lewis Street here in the city, and items like this mattress are free. In New London, Tina Detell, News 8.